Well, a Chinese researcher claims he helped make the world's first genetically edited babies. Well, it's a hot topic today in the health world. Haley, Haley Hernandez is here with that and more. Good Especially morning. when you say genetically I edited. Know. It sounds very scientific, kind of weird, right? Well, this researcher in China says he altered the DNA of a set of twin girls born this month. He claims the altered embryos for seven, he altered embryos for seven couples during fertility treatment. His goal was to give the babies a trait few people naturally have an ability to resist possible future infection with HIV he said the, pa the parents involved declined to be identified or interviewed this claim has not been independently verified but this type of gene editing is banned in the US because the DNA can pass to future generations and then you risk harming other genes very interesting though a new study suggests 10% of childhood asthma cases in the US could be prevented by reducing obesity. That number equates to about a million children. Researchers with Duke University found kids who were obese were much more likely to be diagnosed with asthma than those in a normal weight range. Researchers estimate that nearly a quarter of childhood asthma cases are directly caused by obesity. If you ended up tossing most of your Thanksgiving leftovers, you're not alone. A new survey from the American Dairy Association finds the average American family wastes nearly a third of the food they buy. But a few simple changes can help your family use more and waste less. If you have leftovers you can't use right away, freeze them. Also, aging produce and fruit can be great in soup, stir fry, or a smoothie. And try using the USDA's Food Keeper app. It has helpful information on how to store and cook over 400 foods, and it will even send you alerts when the food in your fridge is approaching its end date. Oh, I need that. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. <laughs> now, aside from those foodborne illnesses, there are a number of viruses you have the power to prevent. Coming up at 640, the top five things you can be doing this cold and flu season that can keep you from getting sick, including the main thing your doctor does, doctor's secrets to why they never get sick. Mm. Uh, Didn't you ever wonder that? Yes. I think it's just because people cough in their face all the time. <laughs> but there's one thing that. they're doing that keeps them from getting the illness. All right. We need this. I know. Yes, We've we been do. hacking for like two weeks. Boy, oh boy. Yeah. It's the weather changes, I swear. Well, and the kids bringing whatever home. That's it.